Damn, who's this? That anti-gravity ain't no joke. Okay. I don't know why I'm always so late to the party when it comes to these great shows. Uh, Game of Thrones, probably at the top of the list. We gonna forget about season eight. Uh, Invincible is a great one. I was on time on that one, actually. Arcane, you guys suggested that. Jonathan Marks, I got into it, reacted to it, loved it. 10 out of 10, A++++, S rank. You already know, because you probably already watched the reaction. Uh, Breaking Bad, I didn't start till it was already established season five. I think Game of Thrones, I started in season five, too. Uh, but uh, I, this has been on my radar, because uh, I've seen other people reacting to it i haven't been spoiled on anything don't know any info and then to confirm that i had a few of you guys down in my comment section loyal subscribers i appreciate you guys uh we had jeffrey moy we had uh henning we had tyrone blackshear you all recommended it um actually jeffrey moy you compared it to game of thrones too so uh you said it was a, a pretty political show uh actually now now that i think of it some of my top shows are either science fiction or politically charged um game of thrones political uh obviously there's a lot of other stuff that you love in that too uh character development which i'm sure we'll get in the show uh breaking bad is somewhat socially political um, and then The Wire is another one. I, I didn't start that till it was completely finished. Uh, and we're continuing that trend today because we are getting into the expanse on Amazon Prime. Uh, I, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, the whole series just finished uh, wrapping up uh, six seasons, I believe. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I don't know anything going into it except for it's politically charged uh, space series um science fiction and that's pretty much it so um we're gonna get straight into this i'm excited to get into it everything that i've watched on amazon prime has been 10 out of 10 uh the boys invincible i don't watch much on amazon prime but those were tops here i did just tonight i watched train to busan uh so that reaction's coming soon for you guys so i'm excited to get into this thank you for the recommendation uh let's just get into it episode one of the expanse what's the name of this one dulce dulcinea i think that's how you pronounce it and also this is i believe a book adaptation so i haven't looked up on how fans have received it uh up to this point up into the the ending hopefully there's a uh exceptional ending uh not like game of thrones so let's get straight into it episode one baby the expanse Something going wrong? Oh, she's trapping her. Did the ship malfunction or is this? Or was her ship attack? Okay. I like that. They told us that air and water are more precious than gold, so. Is she all alone in the ship? Jewelry. What did that say? Scope what? Okay, so there there must have been some sort of attack. Damn. Are we dealing with other humans here or some type of creatures? God damn. <laughs> Ooh. What the hell was that? What Huh. Some type of energy ball it looked like the damn uh hex tech or hex core uh sucking somebody in. I don't know what that was. Every time we demand to be heard, they hold back our water, aqua bent and order. I know him from somewhere. Until we crawl back into our holes in bubble bent and order and do as we are told. Water rationing remains in effect. Damn. Days coming soon, Kea. Mm. And when the blood is on the wall, Sasaki, which side you're on? Is he some type of and officer? It seems, since he called him out of the crowd, I'm assuming well, that well, they've had regular run ins. Uh, he doesn't seem to like him preaching to the crowd like that and inciting violence, I guess you could call it, but seems pretty peaceful now. But it's obviously uh, getting to a point where it'll uh, overflow. Jeez, what? Why does he look so skinny? Is he just drug addict? Who? I know him too. Hey, Will. 
What is, what is he from? I trust you change those air filters, right? Full compliance, Miss Sasa. Now arriving, You need to pay a visit then. Okay. Okay. So yeah, police, security, whatever you want to call them. But. Am I smelling a winter cake? Mm-hmm. I would drag my. Damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. Already <laughs> losing limbs. Damn. Who's this? That anti gravity ain't no joke. Okay. Oh, damn. They just reconnected it just like that. Okay. Signed on long enough to get one with force feedback, pressure and temp sensors, the whole package. So they're pretty advanced medically and technologically, even though they're struggling as far as resources, water, and air. Oh, they didn't reattach it, just sold them up. Damn. Okay. Is he losing it? Oh, is. Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad. Uh, I, I'm, I'm blanking on his name right now, but y'all know who I'm talking about. I hear you, Hulk. Come on Damn, now, X. He's definitely losing it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, just the TV. Okay. I was about to say, what the hell? What happened to him? Time coming. Are you kidding? I thought I was getting my walking paper. Did you get a pr promotion? Oh, so he's taking Exo's spot. Turn down two transfers. Hey, or that I guess that's not his name. That's just his uh position title. Hmm. Finally got out of the ice hauling business and into the Earth Mars business. Less risk, way better reward. And be a chance to see Earth again. What makes you think hmm. I want to see Earth again? How long has it been you since they've seen her? Or been on her? Hang on this for a couple of days. Might feel good in the he's just pocket. gonna. I thought he might just leave it on the table. He don't want that shit. Picked up a mayday. Looks like a live freighter. Called itself the Scott and I. Anyone else in the vicinity? No, sir. But we are the only ship in three million clicks. Was that was, was this from that uh, hex core thing that we got, saw uh, with Julie? That sucked in that guy. It's not far out of our way, Captain. Two days at most. Two days. Damn. I complain about 40 minute drives. <laughs> around comes around. One of these days it's going to be us stranded out there. Uh, a little Captain foreshadow. Order, people. Purge the logs. We never received that signal. Damn. Who did they just miss out on? Or is he going to change his mind? Okay. So just wiped it from the, the uh, database. Thanks for backing me up on that distress call. All right, so who, since they had to wipe that from the database, I wonder who exactly they answered to. Would Earth come calling about that? Unknown distress. Oh, he's looking back at it. Yeah, he's going to change his mind, huh? Is he going to hear her scream? Hmm. Okay, I'd say that's enough. For convincing. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we're going to get our interaction between them and the cops, maybe in this episode. Hey. A badass kid. How many times have I told you this calls for tickling? Damn, there's a lot of faces in this, I know. This is a uh, Sheree Agdoshu. I, I probably butchered that name, but I'm pretty sure that's her who voiced uh, the uh, captain. Uh, from Piltover in uh, the first few episodes of Arcane. Oh my god. How long has he been out of the tank? Ten hours. You wish to hurt Earth. The Earth that is now crushing is he from Mars? Belter lungs oh, Belter. fragile Belter bones. Damn. You were carrying contraband stealth technology. What hmm. was it? For Dude, probably to steal resources. If Water or something. Manage. I, another 10 hours. Damn. I know they went over the bones uh, a little bit in the bar scene the the cops did uh, but I, I'm going to have to watch that scene again to hear exactly what uh, what that's about because the, the guy that we saw dead in the bed in that first early scene uh, I thought he was like drugged up or something that's why I thought he was so skinny but I guess it's a uh, side effect of living on uh, or in the belt. What's up, Bell? air filters cracked out second time this month. Mm. Wasn't that that guy's job? His? Yeah. Yeah, he pays our bosses pretty well, too, pal. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's gonna frustrate me. One of you in the comment section is gonna have to let me know who that, what that old guy is from. I've seen him in another popular show. Oh, I know him from Supernatural. He played, he played the the Reaper, I think. Supernatural is another ghost show I love. That's probably that's in my top five. Oh, it should the speed that has an effect on. Are they just going so fast they have to like stabilize their I don't know their organs insides? Is that what that liquid's for? So they don't just disintegrate or I don't know liquefy? <laughs> okay, they're here. That that effect is so dope. I don't know that I've seen that in a in a show like the anti gravity where it looks this, obviously in like superheroes where you see like uh oh gravity boots uh like superhero movies when you see them flying and whatnot but that looks really cool in this show. Hmm. Damn. So they they got in their own shuttle and went themselves. Uh, and she, the one who initially wanted to follow the beacon didn't even end up going, so I wonder what that's about. She might be too vital to operations on the ship. Who is she? No, she's just a missing persons case. Uh, not permitted to discuss, you know. Mm. Okay, so. I'm still back and forth on exactly where everybody's positioned in, in the belt and... Mars, I, I don't think we've even touched on Mars yet, but uh, I'm guessing that log that he re-logged, uh, he's going to come across and that's, and then he'll end up digging into it. Maybe he, maybe they probably won't meet at the actual site of the beacon call, but. Yeah, he's going to see that log, I'm guessing, and that's going to give him his first lead to Julie. No one's going to know if we set foot on that thing. You heard that voice. You got to check to be sure. And Alex, something nasty is hiding in that ship. We bolt like hell and melt anything behind us in the slag. But he hasn't. He hasn't even. All right, I'll go in and poke around. Told them that he heard something. I'll go with him. I don't know why he's being so secretive about it. Burton. Good times. I'm gonna be looking at a lot of details in here, just just in case anything pops up. I'm I'm looking at like the manufacturer, the helmets. I wonder if they're gonna play a part in anything, so I'm try to catch everything uh, as far as that goes. And then you guys can just fill me in in the comment section uh, with anything that won't be a spoiler, obviously. Someone went through the shutdown procedures. I like these shots from inside the helmet. Hey guys, where are all the bodies at? Hey, listen. Cut out the data core, we'll take it with us. That's a good right, question. Man. I get I guess they could have been sucked out in the blast whenever that happened, but again, there was Probably blood smeared on the wall, so obviously calm. something went down. Ship just appeared near your location. Uh -oh. How is that possible? You cleared us after a million clicks. We got pirates or what? Or did something come out of that that orb that we saw in the beginning of the episode? Just suddenly it was there. Stealth tech. Mm. Mars. How far away are you from Mars? Mm. Or can they just like teleport it there? I don't know how that works. We had an understanding detective, an uh -oh. arrangement. You can't just because of the filters. <laughs> oh, damn, it was a prison cell. Oh, no. He about to drop his ass into space. Oh, sucking out the oxygen. It's just like a torture chamber. Torpedo launch. We're gonna take him for a ride. Alex, go around the asteroid. Run him now. Lead the torpedoes into the rock. What is your situation? Please advise. Mm mm. Aiming at something else? They were, they weren't aiming for them, huh? Canterbury burnt like hell. You got incoming. Ooh. Wait, thirty G burn. 
Do it now. Range two four closing. So they're, are they gonna have to abandon them? They just want the cargo. Well, SOS start negotiations for prisoner release. Okay. They want the cargo. So are they? Are these pirates? What? Shit. I, I, I didn't. I didn't. Damn. I didn't think they would die that early on. Episode one. I guess she. She said she wasn't planning on staying. She meant it. <laughs> Just wasn't her choice. Damn. Victor. Yeah, so, uh, so they di they didn't just want that cargo. Is this? Uh, they talked about a spark. Uh. In the beginning of the episode between Mars, the Belt, and Earth, uh, I'm guessing. Damn, that was already the episode. Jeez. Okay, we. I'm gonna watch these credits and then we'll come back. We'll come back for the uh, post episode discussion. That episode went super quick. I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so that's the end of the episode. Great, great pilot episode. Uh, we. I feel like we got a lot of information just for a first uh, episode. Uh, so I, we should probably start with the basics. Uh, 23rd century. So that will put us how far in the future? Uh, 20, 2201. Um, so, yeah, very far in the future. I was curious if this would just be uh, this episode will mostly be in the belt. Uh, we did actually see Earth a little bit and we we were in New York, I believe. Uh, yeah, we saw the Statue of Liberty and I think it said New York somewhere on the title. But very good episode um lots of questions raised julie i have no clue what's going on with her obviously that's going to be a mystery that uh expands throughout this whole first season i'm thinking um and i'm wondering if there's a connection between her and the family we saw on earth uh shore I, I don't know her character's name in the show but uh i'm wondering if she has any relation since we have uh, names I'm gonna have to lock down Willis or Williams uh, researching or looking for this girl for some secret family uh, obviously a family with power on earth that they're helping out uh, one of the shareholders I believe his captain said so um, yeah so he's looking for Julie I'm wondering if she's related to that family we saw on Earth, if that was their purpose or their introduction to this episode. I know she ended up flying. I don't know where she was when we initially saw her in the house, but she flew to New York, uh, saw that guy, uh, the OPA agent or terrorist that had the stealth tech. So I'm, I'm, I really want to learn more about that and the OPA, OPA for that matter, because th that... Uh, I don't know if it's a, a, a group or what, because um, we heard that mentioned in the bar scene, too, um, when that guy confronted him uh, and they were talking about uh, the bone density of low G and stuff like that. You guys know what I'm talking about, but I'm, we, we're going to have to learn more about the OPA uh, stealth tech and then the the cops. So there we got one from earth i think they said so he's not a, a belter um the other guy i'm assuming is a belter uh but i'm curious why he doesn't have like the the uh the issues with his he looks like a normal earth person or a human uh i don't know if there's a way to combat that uh she she told him to eat more so maybe that's the thing to help him maybe they just need to intake more calories uh, to provide uh, their muscles the strength to grow and all that. Obviously, this gravity is having an effect on the way they mature and develop because uh, that that terrorist was hung up. Uh, they weren't doing anything crazy to him. They just had him out in the open because it looks like the the Earth's atmosphere was affecting his growth. So, um, yeah, I, need, I like I said, a lot of questions. Uh, I love I love it, though. Uh, I can only imagine a show this dense just in the first episode is going to be great because uh, right off the bat, we had uh, so we got Earth, Mars and the belt at war. And then we have all these mini plot lines. So 
we we had uh xo i'm gonna call him because i'm I, I i don't have his name down yet uh he's going to look for or he they already went to look for julie uh he brought that log back into uh well they deleted it at first we're go- was gonna ignore it he heard the cry for help so he decided to go his whole crew is dead now there's a few of them left on this tiny ship and i, I was thinking uh that the cop was going to come across that log uh and then he would go to that same location to find julie but now that i'm thinking about it uh they were supposed to meet i don't know if they were meeting the cops but they were supposed to report to series uh so i'm thinking once they don't report and they come to find out that the ship was blown up they're gonna come looking and they're gonna end up finding exo and the rest of the crewmates so I'm thinking in episode two, that's how we'll have our first interaction between them and the cops. And they'll interview them, ask them what happened and all that stuff. So we got that. Uh, what else do we have? What else did we have? That that ball, that little hex energy ball uh, in the ship at the very beginning. I have no clue what that was. Uh, it absorbed a, some guy, uh, obviously someone she knew. Um, I'd love to theorize about what was going on there, but I really have no clue. I don't know if it's, uh, pirate related, terrorist related. Um, cause initially we saw the blood smears on the wall. So obviously there was some sort of attack and, and when they first saw those torpedoes, uh, the first thing that came out of his mar- mouth was Mars. So I'm, uh, I'm wondering if uh mars is the main issue in the series uh and we said maybe they're the like the antagonist of this show uh and they're gonna spark this war because we had we had them blow up the ship so maybe they had something to do with julie's ship being uh having a hole blown in it and then they had the same effect shooting the torpedoes at uh the main ship uh from the belter so I, I, I don't know. And I wonder what the hierarchy is like. It seems like uh, the United Nations uh, is overseeing everything. So I guess it goes Earth, Mars and then the belt. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking that's what the hierarchy is. And then obviously uh, the belt, like I just said, at the bottom of the totem pole, because they're they're rationing air Um and water that's the the two hottest commodities at least for them uh that's hard to come by for them or at least that uh they don't have enough of um i want to learn more about this guy who was supposed to be changing the filters uh air doesn't seem to be an issue as far as supply obviously but just the purity of the air is what's affecting them uh i guess that combined with the atmosphere of low g uh we need to learn more about high g so well it's like i said it's just the first episode so we'll get more of that i just like to ask questions and theorize before getting into the next episode so i like this i love this um i'm gonna run through this time wheel or time scroll real quick just to see what i missed um i i do like the the aspect of one of the cops being from earth uh obviously one is a a lower belter and he's kind of damaged uh as far as his life goes Uh, i don't i have no clue how that the the guy who was dead i don't know if that was the the girl that because when they were talking in the room uh she was talking creole uh, so I, and the subtitles weren't translating it for me. So, um, that had me curious, uh, the cop, the OG cop, I'm going to call him Willis. It might be Williams, Williams, but I'm not sure he had the, the, the disformity or deformity in at the top of his spine. So I wonder if they did experiments on him. Maybe, maybe that's why he's not affected, uh, in the way some of these other people are with the weak bones, mm-hmm. muscle, and all that. Maybe because they did something to him. Um, let's see. We had that one guy lose his arm. Uh, I, I don't know. Is that... I don't, do they melt that down for water? 
or is that just a protective layer? Because he mentioned when the torpedoes got shot, he mentioned uh, releasing the ice uh, boulders for protection as like a shield. But I wonder if maybe they're collecting that ice to melt down and have a source of water. Maybe that's where they get it from. Uh, so there's that. Uh, Addie, she's gone. Uh, I figured she wouldn't stick around for long, but I, th I thought we'd see her for longer than that. Um, guy from Breaking Bad, the previous XO, I don't, I don't know if he was just too old up there in age and he just lost it. Uh, he didn't die here, but he had to be hospitalized. Obviously, he's going to have to give up that position because uh, now they got him in the position, uh, this younger guy. Um, and he, he said that, uh, I hate to say just this guy for everybody, but his his superior had big plans for him. So I wonder what that was all about. Um, what else we got? What else we got? Fa the family on earth all we really got was uh shores correct me if i'm pronouncing that wrong but uh we only got a little bit of insight into her uh, obviously she's a head honcho she went straight in interviewed that guy commanded more uh 10 more hours for him to be stuck in this gravity uh, i don't know that he'll last that full 10 hours uh, he was looking down pretty bad so uh She's definitely a shot caller that we're going to have to pay attention to. Uh, I don't and it, it's possible, but I don't know if uh, she would be considered a shareholder. Maybe she doesn't have any relation to um, Julie. And she said she was the grandmother of that kid. So I don't know. I thought maybe she would have been the mother and that would have been the dad, the brother and then her. But I really don't know. Um Naomi, uh, I like her. She seems she seems to question things without just going along with it. Uh, but at some point, that's going to become an issue, I'm sure. She and then what's his name? Let, let me find his name real quick. Uh, Jim, Jim Holden. OK. Yep, Jim Holden. OK, got it. So Jim uh, he he heard that message from the beacon that was sent out from the ship and he he relogged it that's why they ended up going with their own ship but he didn't if i'm correct he didn't tell anybody that he heard uh julie say help me he's just going in there like he's investigating i, I wonder if that uh wouldn't be grounds for investigating and uh he would just get denied or wouldn't be able to go, period, to check it out. Maybe because Julie's from Earth and they don't interfere with uh, things like that. Uh, obviously, there's something between uh, Joe and Octavia. Uh, at least from uh, Joe's standpoint, he wants something more. She's just doing her own thing. So uh, I'm interested to see more of the dynamic on that. Uh, I do like Alex. Uh, not the head ship mate, but he, he seems like they're kind of tech guy. Um, and another thing, not even about what happened in this episode. I love the aesthetic of the show. Uh, the sound design was really good too. I know I'm listening through headphones, but it was really well done with the, the, how the sound dropped down a little bit when they were out in space, uh, like in the ship that had the hole in it, you could tell the sound or the difference in the sound. Uh, I like the camera shots from inside the the uh helmets that was really cool uh gravity boots i was like at some points i was like how the hell are they just walking in this spaceship that has uh that isn't enclosed and it's just open space pretty much and then they close up on the gravity boots so i like the attention to the little details like that that's great um what else do we have then we got a little bit more into uh the issue with the air with the little girl in, in the bird, I thought maybe there was some type of uh, sickness they were hinting at. It, I guess it could be a sickness, but uh, that was more of a hint towards uh, the air not being properly purified. And that's when we saw uh, Vargas, I think his name is, uh, get trapped in the little torture chamber. The 
oxygen less tank. So, uh, yeah, I, all this stuff I'm looking to get more info on. But this was a very good pilot. Um, I'm going to stick with the thought that uh, this blown up ship and them not reporting uh, back to series on time is what uh, brings the the two together because uh, I don't know I don't this is the first episode there could be a dynamic where uh, Jim and Joe have already met uh, but I'm thinking this will be their first interaction uh, and then he'll tell him about the log or he'll just hear it himself uh, they'll come together I don't know if they'll investigate together but they're both uh, intertwined in it now because they both have interfered with it well him because of his boss and the shareholder uh the cop that is and then jim because uh he wanted to save her so i'm sure he's going to be curious he seems like that type who who kind of wants to save people and goes to the beat of his own drum so regardless of whether he's allowed to or not i feel like he's just going to stay on this path in some way or another so we're not going to theorize anymore uh that'll probably be the only episode i watch tonight because it's late but i love this show it it got me invested it started off a little bit slow but it got me invested with the characters and the story because there's so much information being thrown at us uh this is exactly the type of show i'm into uh and that i feel like could sustain the story over the course of six seasons uh and i, I haven't checked but i think there's only 10 episodes in each season so uh, that that's a perfect number. I know for shows like Game of Thrones, you complain at the beginning. But once you actually watch them and you see the story condensed and not in like 24 episodes like you see on these CW shows, uh, th th this is perfect for a show. So as long as they get their point across uh, and don't stretch out the plot lines, this is going to be another A plus for Amazon Prime. So A for Amazon. So we're going to stick with this. Uh, Jeffrey Moy, uh, Tyrone Henning. I appreciate you guys for the suggestion. This is going to be dope. I think it's going to be a great one for the channel. So uh, I appreciate you guys. Once again, new faces, subscribe, like the video. If you want more uh, of the expanse, you're getting it anyway. Uh, but I appreciate you. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Deuces.